Hello, my name is Amar Jyot Singh and my full-time business is doing spouse visa for students and work permit holders in Canada. I um, tend to understand why their visas are refused and then I will reapply based on what I know, what the refusal rate is. And every day some husbands or wives are coming and I will post a video of somebody who sent me yesterday, uh, somebody who came yesterday and then, you know, you can take a look. If you have your own questions about spouse visa, you can always email me at spouseworkpermit at gmail.com. Many people ask me that if they don't have a spouse, how can they work in Canada without LMIA? Because LMIA is required from the employers. Employer has to pay some fees, advertise, and do other things to justify the LMIA. Uh, one way is to learn French. I've always told many people that start learning French. If you don't know French, start learning if you want to come to Canada it will help you in, in your immigration bonus points in express entry maybe Quebec immigration if you speak high level of French but even if you speak the French to the level of CLB 7 that will help you get a job offer without LMIA outside Quebec so this the program is listed on the screen international mobility program as you see it's a 205A as you remember the spouse visa is always 205C but this one is A this program was started about three years ago by the Canadian government to promote people who want to live outside Quebec, but they speak French. So they want uh, French-speaking uh, people, which is called francophone, outside Quebec. All you have to do is learn French. To the, If you don't speak French, native French, all you have to do is take the test, which is CLB7, according to the level, and get a job offer in a skilled job offer, and you can apply for this work uh, permit. And you will get it without the LMI, and you can you can even bring it, uh, you know, um, uh, to the level. Uh, you can you can do it here. You can come to Canada and then search for job, or if you have a job offer, you can do it from outside as well. It can be, it should be done online application. That's what I prefer. Otherwise, it used to be some years ago. It used to go to the Canadian embassy in Paris. But I do not know if it still goes there or not, but you should apply online so they can route it to the, to the, uh, to the right uh, visa office um, you know, for, for this kind of applications. So uh, general criteria is has to be outside Quebec, as you see, uh, and it has to be a skill job, which is NOC, O, A, and B. So this is the most important, and it should be outside Quebec. And, and that's it. Uh, take a look at the CLB7. Here it is. If you don't speak native French, then you have to take a test and bring your uh, your level as to be level seven or in the in the TEF test. All right, so this is what you have to do, uh, and that is it. The employer pays uh, two hundred thirty dollars fees as you always. It's not free, uh, so the employer uh, submits a offer employment, pays a compliance fee. It's done online. They issued a code. The code number is given to the candidate. The candidate puts this number in the form one two nine five where they write. Uh, what is your LMI number? So you write this code so they know exactly, uh, you know, the, em the employer has to pay the fees and that's it. So you get the work permit based on the length of the job offer and you can, once you are in Canada, you can renew it. This renewal is done at the case process center in Edmonton. And and that's that's all that's all it is. You can bring your uh, your spouse in this also. You can bring your spouse and children, dependent children. Let's take a look. Where's the family? Here it is the family members the family members can also come depend family members yeah spouse and uh, minor children also can come uh, to live with you so this is a great program i think for people who have a job offer outside quebec but if they can speak french to the level of clb7 no lmi required you can get the open work permit i don't want to call it open work permit i'm going to call it lmia exempt work permit because open work permit means that you can work for anybody, but this is only for working for that employer, but no LMIA requirement, all right? So thank you very much. I will leave you with the video that was sent recently, just yesterday, about a spouse who came, arrived at the Canadian airport yesterday, all right? Thank you very much, and uh, let me just leave with this. Uh, yeah, this is the name, International Mobility Program, Canadian Interest, Significant Benefit. You can copy and paste and put this on Google, and you can read it on your own. Thank you very much. Goodbye.